People be like, Ando, why don't you do a room tour? Man, my room is a mess. What, what is any of this? I've got no space for activities. The story is, I had a bunch of figures come in the other day because EMS is finally back from Japan. So I spend so long recording a really epic haul unboxing video. These are like the first figures I've got from Japan in two and a half years. Ah! And then I check the footage and turns out my mic lost battery like 5% into the recording. So I was very salty about that. This is my Joker moment. I am so mad. I am so mad. Because I'd already waited like four to six weeks to make that video. So I've had to wait for more figures to come in. And now I guess you're just gonna get one really big haul video. I, I bought these figures and I'm gonna make you look at them. That's, that's what we're doing. All right, where are me boxes? Where are they? A couple of small boys. A couple of big boys. Oh, I probably shouldn't have stacked it like that. That's half of them. And unfortunately the other ones I already opened, but I'm gonna talk you through them anyway. So where do I begin? Uh, my first figures in two and a half years, I guess I'll start with the one that I waited the longest for, which is the High Elf Archer from Goblin Slayer. This one's by Fat Company. Can you see her? There she goes. She looks really pretty. I think I ordered her back. When did she go for pre-order? Was it 2019 maybe? Then she was supposed to come out in 2020. Shipping stopped happening. Uh, so she's just been in a CD Japan warehouse for like two years. And I really have to give those guys credit for holding on to all of my figures throughout the entire pandemic. Because I think a lot of other sites were making people ship all their figures with like DHL and stuff. So I'm very glad about that. The one thing I do hate about this is that her base says Goblin Slayer on it. Why? Why are we doing this? They need to stop doing this. It's really, it's really gross, but I'm going to deal with it. She looks really pretty, but I want to open some of these new packages. So first up, what do I want to do? Well, let's start with the scale figure, which I think, is this a scale figure? We're going to find out. Ooh. I am weak. I'm a weak old man. Get that out of there. I already know what it is. It's paper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect fit. Look at that. Perfect. Is this even gonna... Get out. God, this is a big box for such a small figure. Oh, she looks a bit boring, but we'll live and learn. This is, if you can get a peek at her in this massive box, like it's, this is like twice as big as it should be. This is Natsuno Minami and BJ, who's this uh, Wally looking fella, there he is, in the box, uh, from 13 Sentinels. One of the most unique games that I've ever played. If you haven't played it, I definitely recommend it. Maybe it's just the angle here, but her face looks a little bit meh, I think. Uh, I feel like it looks better on the back. I'll give you a little spin around there. But it's fine. Very cool top. This figure, I'm not too sure about. It was, this purchase was more of a, I like the game, I want a figure from it, more than a, this figure looks really good uh, point of view. Does have a cool base though, and I think she was pretty cheap. So I'm not gonna be too mad if the quality's not all there. I guess I'll reach down into this pile of figures I have over here. <laughs> This was a figure that I bought in a video. It is Reese or Rice, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, from Trials of Mana 3. I'm a bit disappointed in this because the main selling point for me was her face. It looks very pretty here. I haven't taken her out of the box yet, but her face, I think it just looks a bit, yeah. And she's all covered up in the box. You can't see too much of it, but the shading of the green dress and everything just looks really fantastic. That's the other main reason why I really like this and wanted it, so I'm glad that seems to have turned out really nicely. I'll probably open her up at some point. My main blocker for that is that I just don't have space. It's all full, and behind the camera is even worse. You don't want to know what's behind there. So, so I'm like, oh, it feels a little bit pointless to like open her up and review her and then put her back in the cardboard prison, but it is what it is, right? I think I'm most interested to see this box because I know the least about it. I think it was the last 
Wonder Festival or whatever the last Good Smile event was, maybe the Smile Fest, they were really going hard on the Hello Good Smile figures. And I guess it's more of GSE's answer to like Funko Pops or something. And I think for me, they'll probably be replacing Nendoroids as the small figures that I collect, just because Nendoroids are getting so much more expensive now. So I ordered like five of them. Two Hello Good Smiles in here. I don't remember which ones I bought from Ami Ami. Here's the certified Ami Ami purchase. Do people like actually collect these? We have, oh, Chocola? I got Chocola? And Ryuko. Can I say, I love the packaging of these. They just look so fresh and modern and they, they look really cute. I like these little different patterns on the top. Let me open one. Who should I go with first? I'll go Chocola. Oh yeah, they do come in these bags. This feels very like collector artsy vinyl figure that are in blind bags and stuff. I like that peel. She's so cute. Look at this little cutie. I can really see myself replacing my netherroids with these. <laughs> like actually. I thought they looked a little bit creepy at first, but they've really grown on me. She's gonna be very dusty, please excuse me. But uh, there she is compared to the Nendoroid. They're about the same size. Of course the Nendo is much more expressive, but I don't care about Chocola enough. As, as someone who now owns two Chocola figures, I don't care enough about Chocola to really even own one figure, which is why I like this one, because it's inexpensive enough for me to get cute characters that I like without the commitment of an actual Nendoroid. Where the hell am I gonna put her? I'll put her up here, okay? All right, fellas. She'll stay with John now, forever. Great packaging. I, first impressions, really like the product. Is this now a, like off balance? Oh, I think I made it worse. Anyway, we'll deal with it. I'll fix it in post. Trust me to lose my knife in the middle of filming somehow. Call that a knife. This. This is knife. This is terrible for opening. Let me in to the Nendos! <laughs> Nendos, Nendos, Nendos. I wish I still had my knife. The first one is Kokoro from Princess Connect. If you've watched Ami Ami Recap, you'll know I absolutely love Kokoro's character design. Does she look good? I didn't take a look when I took her out of the box. She looks excellent. They almost always look really good and exactly like the prototype you know unless it's like toy tech or something so very happy to finally have my own little kokoro i wish i had one of the scale figures but i don't know anything about princess connect so i can't justify spending a bajillion dollars on her next up is an end up and waiting a long time for i reckon uh this is Ilya. I unironically really like Prilia. I think the fight scenes are very good. I'm surprised how many Fate Nendos exist. I have so many of them up here. Before they ever got to Ilya, like, she gets a lot of figures. And then the last figure in this box is, oh, that sounded heavy, is Shinobu Kocho from Demon Slayer. This is the last Demon Slayer Nendo I ordered. I decided to give up collecting them. I feel like they were very hit or miss. And I also never watched season two, so uh, I don't know how much I care about the series anymore, but I have faith that this is gonna be a cool Nendo. I really like her butterfly parts. What are they showing them? This one, this picture? This one right here where she's doing the butterfly wings. I think that's really cool. I'll probably display her like that. And so she'll probably also go up with my, my Demon Slayer fellas up there. Don't at me. I'm replacing Zenitsu with a much better character, and I'm sure everyone else can agree with that. I've got two boxes left, no more Nendoroids, but I will show you these uh, Nendoroids that did come in a long time ago, uh, which was Dio Brando. Uh, never opened him though, so it is what it is. We've also got the Gyoza Fairy from Doro Hedoro. This is such a weird Nendo because they've done this really epic box with the like lizard reptile skin on the spot UV on the side, which looks awesome. But then they never made like a, a Nendo of an actual character from the series. Gyoza Fairy is just like a meme. It's an actual meme. <laughs> Look at him. It's just a, it's a Gyoza baby thing. It's, it's kind of gross. I just got it as a joke because it was buy one, get one free with Dio. So like, <laughs> I may as well, right? So that's funny. I, I probably should have reviewed this because it is a sort of weird and unique one. What is this? What is the, what even, 
This is Snowmiku 2020, an Android 1250, uh, which is... I'm showing you the front, which is completely useless. Um, the back <laughs> has the pictures of Miku. Uh, I used to play French horn, so I'm like, I need to have this Miku, even though I'm not madly in love with this Miku design, but I do like getting the limited Miku Nendos, and I can't say no to French horn. But that's it for Nendoroids, and now it's time for the main event, which maybe, maybe you could have guessed inferring from some of my previous videos. And I'm going to start with this box from the my Nintendo store that showed up today. So I made a video, was it the start of the year? And I lost it close to like a thousand dollars in pre-orders to Nippon Yasan because they scammed everyone. And that was because I had pre-orders down for Pirate and Mithra from Xenoblade 2. It's still weird to me that Nintendo has like anime girls as like actual official characters. And this is the collector's edition of Xenoblade 3. Everything this is probably decreasing its value a whole ton. But that leads to this box, which you can probably guess who's in here. Uh, at the end of my Nippon Yusan video, I showed that I actually did manage to get Mithra off Amiami. It's been a long time coming. Pyra from Xenoblade 2 by Good Smile Company. It feels unreal to finally be holding this. Will I take them out of the box? Yes. Uh, when I, I don't know. These figures seem very popular. They've both gotten like four or five re-releases. It's got the official Nintendo seal. That's so epic. <laughs> I do have, I think, one more thing to show off because this is my first Azure Lane figure, Le Triomphant. You honestly can't get a good look at her in the box, but from what I've seen in there, she looks absolutely stunning. This figure is by Ulta and I absolutely trust them for everything except release dates. She's really heavy. She's like by far the heaviest figure in this entire video. Somehow, for like years I've been saying, I need to get an Azuleen figure. I really like the Azuleen character designs. So this is finally it. And uh, very soon I'll have my first Arknights figure as well, coming from Mythos. I don't know if this shot's really in focus, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope it is. And I guess a lot of this was actually funded by this channel and you guys using my CD Japan affiliate link and stuff like that. So I'm really appreciative of everyone who's supported me over the last few years. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And if you're not part of the family, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And then I guess until next time, this has been the Ando Experience and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. This is my Joker moment. <laughs>